Hello, and welcome to Artificial Intelligence, Section 3, Lesson 3, Sentience. Here is our culminating task prompt. Considering the various visions of the future portrayed of artificial intelligence portrayed throughout the text of this unit, how might its development be guided to benefit society but minimize harm? Do the benefits to society outweigh the potential harm AI might inflict on humanity? Today you will read chapters 16 in text that's pages 207 to 219 of the fourth age, smart robots, conscious computers, and the future of humanity to explore the philosophy of artificial intelligence. You will discuss the nature of sentience and free will and assuming we are able to instill AI with emotions or free will, whether we should. You will also add de details about philosophy of AI to the understanding AI tool. For this lesson, you will need your reading response journal, the excerpt from The Fourth Age, chapters 16 and 17, and the Understanding AI tool. Here's our learning target for this lesson. Can you describe what the terms sentience and free will mean and how they relate to artificial intelligence? Can you form a claim and provide evidence to support that claim? Sentience is a word that is regularly misused. In science fiction stories, it is usually used to mean intelligent, as in the beings on Rigel 7 have been forming cities and are clearly sentient. But it doesn't actually mean that. Sentient means the ability to feel or sense things. Before reading pages 207 to 219 from the fourth age, you are going to answer the questions in Nearpod to approach the text. What is the text type? And what do you understand about the text based on this information, the title and the text type? Then you are going to read pages 207 to 219 from the fourth age independently. As you do, be sure to consider the reading focus. What is sentience and what is free will? And, why would the author discuss these topics in a book about artificial intelligence? As you're reading this passage, I want you to also think about the following. What examples of sentience does the author provide? How would you define sentience? What examples of free will does the author provide? How would you define free will? You will have five minutes to answer the questions in Nearpod and 20 minutes to read the text. 